Static Texas uh, new CD Cannibals coming out on April 3rd, and I can't wait to get it. it sounds awesome. Uh, they're they have it all up on some website, um, all legal, but uh, yeah. So I've been listening to it. It's pretty cool. If I posted every single video I made, there'd be about like five videos up right now. But the past five videos have been complete disasters. So uh, yeah. I figure it's better to not upload a bunch of crap than whatever. I finally found something that's a bit interesting to show you guys that's not going to take a lot of brain work because it tends that it tends to be that lately anything that takes more than a little brain work completely throws me off and uh, the video turns up being a disaster. So here we go. Okay, so um we're learning in physics wronghand. <laughs> we're learning in physics right now. Uh, we're, we're busy doing magnetism and uh, elect we're learning about electricity and magnetism and whatever. So, using the right hand rule, you can figure out, like, if, for example, I've got a magnet here, and uh, I just found it laying around. I have no idea which way is the south pole or the north pole on it, but using the right hand rule, we can figure out which is north and which is south on here. Here we've got a coil of wire and it's wound that way. Um, so if we pass a current through here and hold this magnet near it, what we're going to see is we're going to see the coil move and from the coil's motion we can determine which which pull is which on this magnet. So we're going to try that now. Oh, look, that's someone talking about MSN. Carrie. Okay, so, so just to prove to you that this isn't some kind of weird trick, if I hold the coil, okay, it's, it's just vibrating a little now, but if I move it up and down around here, you don't see a lot of motion from the coil. Okay. So now what we have is we have current running from here around here. And if we use our right hand rule, we curl our fingers around. Oops, that's my left hand. <coughs> so basically we've got north pointing down, south pointing up for our coil. If I'm doing this the right way around. So we have, wait, what did I say? South pointing up, it should attract to north. So I'm betting that's north. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Finally, it's working how it should work. Okay, so let me explain this. We've got, using a different right-hand rule, we know that if we point our th thumb in the direction that of current motion, so the current is moving through here this way, so it's moving around here, it's moving around in this circle, so if we take our hand and we point our thumb in the direction of motion, it's going to curl around that way all the time. We're going to have our fingers curling down the whole time. And because our fingers are curling down, that means our magnetic field is pointing down through here. It's starting here and pointing down through here, meaning north is on the bottom, uh, is pointing down, and south is pointing up. It might be the other way around, but either way, once I look it up, we'll know. Um, but we know that if, if, I'm if I'm right in assuming that north is pointing down right now, then south is pointing up, and it should attract the magnet. And we can see here that when I bring the magnet close, it, it attracts up, it pulls up, see that? Now if we turn around the magnet, it pushes down. Ooh, look at that. Okay, now let me go do my research and make sure that what I said is right. <laughs> I hope you guys uh, found that interesting. Ooh, it's actually warm. I guess that's what you get when you uh, short circuit a battery. Anyway, I'll catch you guys all later. What the? Why is my video camera? Oh, I guess it would help if I took off the lens cap. I'm such an idiot sometimes. Really. It's scary. Okay, so I was unsure about which way the magnetic field pointed in relation to North Pole and South Pole. So we can see here that 
our magnetic field lines are pointing out of the pay, uh, out that way, and there's north. So I was right when I in my assumption. So in summary, from that experiment using the coil, we're able to find that this roundy point here is our north, and that flat point there is our south of this magnet.